I'm Malayne Hillam. If you're a crafter, you no doubt have an extensive collection of fibres and ribbons, threads, cords, twines, all sorts of different materials that you use in your crafting, but way more than you could ever hope to use in your whole crafting life. I know I have, so I decided I needed to do something about it. I went through my stash and I pulled out all of the black, grey, white, silver threads that I could find that I thought would work well together. And I'm going to turn them into a cool wall hanging. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is anchor the wall by tying it in a double knot in the top left hand notch of the weaving loom. You'll need a tail for finishing off the weaving, so don't make it too short. Now you need to create the warp threads by wrapping the wool around the notches on the loom. When you get to the end, tie it off in a double knot. The warp threads should be tight, but you should be able to slide your hand in behind them. Pick out some fibres, threads and ribbons from your pile that you think will work together. You can start weaving from either side of the loom. Just weave the needle in and out of the warp threads, over, under, over, under, until you get to the other side. On the next row, wherever you went under on the previous row, you'll need to go over. Just keep doing this until you run out of thread. Compact the threads down and then change to another thread. As your weaving progresses, you'll want to mix up some that are textured with some that are smooth to give your weaving an interesting look. Keep weaving until you reach the top of the loom. Once you've compacted the last layer, it's time to tie off the warp threads. Cut the bottom loops one at a time and then tie each pair of warp threads into a double knot. I made my warp threads way too short, so I need to use pliers to help me tie the threads off. When you get to the last three threads, you'll need to tie the first two into a knot and then tie one of those into a knot with the third one. Now weave all the loose ends back into the wall hanging, making sure they don't show on the front. Trim away the excess. I want to make sure that they don't unravel, so I'm using fibre lock rug backing, which will lock the fibres, threads and ribbons into place. It's really easy to apply. Just brush a thin layer onto the back and let it dry. It has a bit of a smell when you first open the container, but it dissipates pretty fast, and after a while, I hardly even noticed it. Whilst that's happening, take the metal tube and mark it where you'd like to cut it. I love this little tube cutting gadget that my hubby found for me. You just place the tube against the cutting wheel and tighten up the knob so that the wheel sits lightly against the tube. Then you just rotate the tube. Now insert the tube into the end loop of the wall hanging and twist it three times. Then insert it into the next loop. To twist this one, take it back off the tube and twist it. Then take it off again and twist it for a second time. Do this with all the loops until you get to the end. For the last thread, loop it around the top of the tube and tie it off into a double knot. Now take a coping saw and trim away the base of the drawer knobs, but leave the shaft attached as you'll insert this into the aluminium tube. Check it for fit and then trim it with a craft knife until the shaft fits firmly inside the tube. Smear the inside of the tube with strong adhesive and push the drawer pull in. Do the same on the other side. Now put this aside and start connecting the crystals together. You'll need to take the top crystal off each of the star chains and then connect those two together. Then add the square crystal and finally the teardrop crystal. Hook the strands into the bottom two rows of the wall hanging with the bow tie connectors and your wall hanging is ready to be hung. This was a great stash buster project. You'll find links below to the products that I use to help me complete the wall hanging. If you'd like more crafty DIYs, or you'd like to learn how to work with resin, leather, or create jewelry, then please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to give this video the thumbs up.
Thanks for watching.